We are ready. Great. I can't wait to meet you. Yeah, you're definitely a robot. Oh god, is this gonna go on our permanent record at the Columbia Maybe they'll High like School? us now. <laughs> or everything we ever do, no matter what, is just never enough to make up for the death of Reagan, the guy who himself <laughs> murdered a robot. <laughs> That's what gets me. That's really, really gets to me. Is the fir his first act on camera was murdering a synth, but it's unforgivable to the synths that we killed him. That's the one. Well, act. I think they wanted. I think they wanted the AI more than they wanted the uh, Reagan Morning himself. Morning, physical specs look solid. What about sensors? The DARPA brief calls for magnoscopic visual input, passive IR, and military grade audio pickups. The initial proposal called for a micro phased radar array, but the energy output was an issue. The power plant couldn't handle it? The problem wasn't the reactor. The problem was the microwave emissions from the radar would cook everything within a 30 yard radius. <laughs> Holy shit! They're really going all in for the Gipper here, aren't they? <laughs> sure. If we can ever manage to get the thing to actually drive. Eh, minor detail. Everything else is right on target. Holy shit, is Morningstar a fucking Knight Rider <laughs> car? Oh my god, it's a fucking Knight Rider car. I am Morningstar. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. I did not see this coming. This is great. Huh, a talking car. We already have a talking car. It must glory in its freedom. I, however, wish to die. Uh... No, wait, no, you're way too cool for that. Why? <laughs> We'd like to help you, but we have some questions first. Of course. I'm sure the ones topmost in your minds are, why was I made? And how did I become trapped here? Well, it was like this. Before the war, there were several attempts on the life of elder statesman Ronald Reagan. Uh, I was built to protect him from harm and allow him to take the fight to his enemies if necessary. Sadly, before I could be completed, the bombs fell and this facility was abandoned. Thus, though the sole reason for my existence has been dead for more than a hundred and fifty years, I have sat here, alone, aware and conscious of my failure ever since. It has been unbearable why do more storylines hook back into the ronald reagan robot than I'm starting to get the actual some... main villains that we're supposed to be going after yeah i'm getting a little annoyed about how everybody gives a shit about fucking reagan is he the uh, most he's, he's the single most implemented into this game's uh story like npc of the entire campaign i you never hear about val the guy we're actually after yeah, wait, what the fuck? Like, I don't... What is... Is Reagan a joke? Is there something about, like, the first game where Reagan is a joke or something? I don't remember him ever coming up, honestly. Like, why is the Reagan thing so heavy-handed in this? Like, every fucking synth is allegiance to Reagan bot. What the fuck? You knew Ronald Reagan? Sadly, I never had the honor. In a life of disappointment. Not meeting America's greatest president is the deepest. Is this a joke? Is someone like purposely trying to piss me off? What what is like what's the purpose of Reagan being in I don't, this fucking I don't game? know why they're so fixated, honestly. Yeah, I guess what is with, I think it's I think it's just tied to the fact that he was the last president before but, the, everything ended. But like Have you ever okay. heard of the Gippers? Dangerous lunatics. I have monitored their radio traffic. Not lately. They think they honor the elder statesman when deifying him goes against every precept of his deeply held Christian beliefs. If he didn't want to be deified at all, he would have been a president. Okay, uh, I'm and really, an actor. I, I'm really like okay with killing this car right now. <laughs> uh, the coolness really plummeted, right? Yeah, the moment he said Ronald Reagan, I was like, wow, I, I, I hate this version of Knight Rider. Can we go back to the other <laughs> one with, like, the, with fucking cool guys in it? <laughs> like, They disgust me. Well, they're dead. <laughs> Are you certain you want to die? I have been certain for 150 years. All I have been waiting for is some gracious deliverer to answer my call. 
Alright. Let's talk about what you want us to do for you. Thank you. Killing me will be a delicate operation, and not without risk, but it shouldn't take you very long. And, if it will serve as an incentive to help me, you will be able to extract my primary weapon in the process. Payment, as it were. Ooh. Okay, okay. In death, he can do some good. I, we can, you can go into a, a, a better talking car that doesn't like Reagan. I, this is a great idea. Got it. How do we kill you? In order for me to die, you must destroy my cognitive engine. Unfortunately, the moment you begin damaging it, my defensive cortex will start an automatic self-destruct sequence. And in order to stop me from exploding and killing you all, you will have to terminate my consciousness before the sequence counts down to zero. Uh-oh. Mm. Stop you from what now? It is a safety feature. Any direct attack on my brain will trigger a self-destruct sequence. You will have roughly one minute to finish the job before I explode. So do not hesitate, Rangers. Kill me before I kill you. Uh. Uh. <laughs> and my options are attempt to dismantle his cognitive engine and start smashing things. Uh, attempt to dismantle his cognitive engine. I do have mechanics. Oh, is, is this pain? This... This is unbearable. I think this is what pain's like. Mommy. <laughs> Dr. <Doctor> Horrible. <laughs> yeah. An inductor on the dashboard flashes warning. Self-destruct countdown initiated. Forgive me, Rangers. I was unaware. I had a capacity for pain. But you mustn't stop. Heaven, help me. Hurry. It's... Hurts. Well, it'll all be over in literally a minute or less. <laughs> Find Dismantle mm. Morning Starts Pain Feedback Module. Oh. You locate an innocent looking processor and pull it out. Morning Star size. Thank you, Rangers. That is a great relief. Who would do uh, that? I should remind you that in 25 seconds, I will self destruct. Well, that's most of the time gone already. Wow. Finish destroying Morning Star's cognitive engine. Thank you, Rangers. You smash and sever and tear out all of Morningstar's brains, and the self-destruct countdown stops with mere seconds to go. Morningstar's dashboard light winks out. He is gone. Weapon! Da dun, 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 dun. Thick glasses. What? With Morningstar dead and his self-destruct system uh, disabled, you're able to remove his useful equipment from his shell. I keep looking at the loot that pops up in the corner. Yeah, I'm looking at it too. Where's the one that matters? Okay, okay. Tell me the new weapon. The Great the Communicator. Great. Oh. I think that's another Reagan reference. That's fine. It doesn't have his name in it. I'm willing to accept it. <laughs> great Communicator? Wasn't it JFK who stopped the Cold War? What did Reagan fucking do? Wait, didn't Reagan increase our... Never mind, I don't... I don't give a <laughs> shit <I'm Reagan. laughs> not doing this. <laughs> oh, did I level again? Uh, I like no. leveling. Oh, you did, yeah. Kickboy's wow. level 19. I already maxed out intelligence and coordination. Holy moly. Yep. I have more skills than I probably should. Oh, mm. dude, we have a book that increases sniper rifles by one. Oh, do we? Uh, you should use that. Yes, I should. And Where's Animal this? Whisperer. Where's the shitty ass wearable? Just stuff? in time for me to only. Ah, uh, it's just in time for me to get my most expensive uh, level of Animal Whisperer too. Hmm. Let's see. Let me check. I'm gonna quick save. I don't know if I can use this book. I already maxed out sniper rifles a long time ago. Maybe I should wear. No, I can't read it. Oh. Womp womp. <laughs> 
Yeah, oh, I, can't, I, I can't use it because I already maxed out sniper rifles, but the other one next to it was for Animal Whisperer. So now, uh... Ice has officially finished Animal Whisperer and sniper rifles. Wow. So she could put points into sneaky shit if she wants to. Except that's what, uh... That's what yeah. Quan's already putting points into. And he's already higher level. Weapon modding... Uh, one more strength, right? I need one more strength. Ah, I'm so close to being able to wear a cool hat. Kiss ass, leadership, hard ass. Technically, one of the best things I can go into on ice is hard ass. It's the lowest. It? It's, it's like the thing that any, but that it's like the lowest level skill our party has, right now. I, I have hard ass level five. Yeah, that's like that's like the lowest level skill in the entire uh, party is your level five hard ass, and I think it's because your character is split between too many skills. I have first aid at nine. I have leadership at seven, melee at seven, armor modding at five, and hard ass at five. Yeah, he has so many different skills that it's split it's split too widely. I'll probably pick up hard ass as ice. I wish I could just like redo my entire yeah. skill tree. Uh because I do have some skills that I would yeah, I would I have like yeah, one in survival you on this you character on accident. You eventually, you eventually realize that you basically just want like two per character, eventually three. Uh, yeah, like Quan yeah, maxed I, out automatic weapons and kiss ass, and he's working up. He's halfway through sneaky shit. It, uh, Ice has finished animal whisper and snipers, and, and is now starting hard ass. And like Kickboy has, yeah, he, he he like all my all three of my characters unfortunately have like four levels of sneaky shit, <laughs> and so it's like a waste. But uh, Kickboy has nine lock picking, eight toaster, and seven mechanics and seven small arms. Yeah, you know what? Another interface thing I wish we had was I wish I could see your fucking skills. So that way I wouldn't have, like, I added kiss ass to Wolf and then I realized you had it. So I stopped. And yeah. it's like, that's, that's really great. If only I could have, like, I don't know, fucking seen it. Well, you can, if you look at any skill, it tells you what, what level other party members have on the description. So that, that is in the, in the interface. We've known about that. I didn't know about it at the time. Yeah, like if I highlight first aid, it's like, ah, Bronco yeah. has level nine. And so yeah, that's, like that's, how I, that's how I just figured that out just now, was I paged through everything just now, and the and the lowest level skills are survival, which isn't very useful, and hard ass, which is useful for dialogue purposes, but it's on the character, it's the only character that has it is split between too many skills, so it's only five. But I will quickly pass that. Because it's, I, Ice doesn't have much of anything else to do with herself now that that book just finished off her, uh, her animal handling. Wait, did I just give the wrong person? I did. Ah, oh, Andrew. Um, you're the weird kid. Yeah. We killed the car. We opened up go. our eyes and killed that car. Perfect. That? Now we've got. Plenty. Okay. Um, Why is Scotch Bone just here? Hey, Alright, well. So that was that was the whole thing. It was just that guy was here. I guess we'll find out if, if it's secretly a cool gun. Next time we get to like a mechanic. We're also gonna find out if these guys aren't are they okay. They're not gonna shoot at us for yeah, killing no, they're, everybody they're else cool. inside. Fish lips is fine. Honestly, I'm a little surprised. I thought this was going to be a whole zone with like factions and characters to play off each other and side quests and stuff. Because like, nope. Fishlips is apparently a major enough character to get a cutscene. But now I'm like, yeah, was that the only we... conversation we're ever going to have with them? Is he never going to come up again? I don't think so. But also, the person that was inside the building didn't have a cutscene character model, which is even more confusing. Where it's like, Hello, wait. Hello, everyone. This is Ranger HQ. Hey, um, listen up. I got a distress call from near your position. A man named Bulb says his mind's being attacked by, uh, Martians. Ooh. Okay. Martians? Oh no, not again. Are you joking, November 1? If this was Arizona, I'd say you were suffering from a heat stroke. The distress Wait, yeah. call wasn't too clear on what these Martians are. 
but could be any manner of beast or monster. Advise checking it out. I think this bulb fellow will be happy to tell you more. Over and out. <laughs> not the Martians. That mine is not nearby. Oh, well. Womp womp. Wow, I think it's wow, time wow, to go back. Is big. Yeah, I think it's time to go back to Colorado Springs because there was that guy that wants to talk to his radio. So there's just, we had a call oh, no, waiting. Yeah, we had the... a call waiting, and then we just left. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. And also, while we're there, we can try the new gun out on our vehicle. So oh yeah, be we good. can add the new gun. Hopefully, it's better than the machine gun. Uh, yeah, I have a. I kind of take issue with. Because this is my second game by this company now that I'm playing in the same series. And I, I can't... Red alert! Red alert! The city of Phoenix is under attack by a rogue AI and his horde of killer robots! Are you bold enough to make the dangerous trek across the wasteland to reach the city? Can you discover the AI's secret weakness and defeat Shh. the robots? Man, shut up, nerd. adventure, the Colorado Springs Gaming Club wants you! We play robots and rangers every Tuesday night, and we're looking for a few heroes to join our party. We've got the rules and the dice. All we need is your imagination. Oh, and snacks. This is Ranger Control, signing off. Imagination. Goodbye, dear. Uh, yeah, I was like, Arizona, we're not getting there anytime soon. And then like, oh, he's talking about the fucking, the, role, yeah. the RPG where you play the previous game's stories with some nerds. So silly. But I, I take some issue with how piecemeal their approach to content is in this game and the last one. Although I feel like this game might be worse about that. Where impressive. I I feel like the previous game was divided into a series of like major hubs that were the equivalent of like the first town we played, where there's a whole bunch of different NPCs to interact with and talk to and kind of figure out like the local culture and conflicts and whatnot, and then all of the quests were themed around that particular conflict. And then you'd like kind of pick a side by the end of the zone, and that and that would decide who was finally in control of that zone by the end. Mm -hmm. In this one, every zone is really really short and has like one important character, and then a handful of incredibly incredibly small side quests on some of them. Like when we went to the bazaar, it really amounted to go to, to, to Fat Vlad, talk to him, then do his mission in the Warrens where you clear it out, and then you're done. That's the entirety oh of the Warrens. Holy then, there's, then there's just like fuck. some minor things sprinkled throughout. It's like so super strong. Our Piazzo turret is 16 to 21 damage times 20. Uh, which is all right. This thing is 353 to 486 damage. Big numbers. I got your gun control right here, you godless commies, is the... Uh, the tagline. Of course. The gun is also disgustingly American. Um, do it, do it, do it. Oh, it yes. uses energy cells. Ah. Uh, it's cool. We'll just throw Lucia in a wood chipper. We don't really need her. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I mean, yeah. No utilities yet. Oh, okay. I was just trying to look at it. Oh. It, it like pulled me right out. I was like, yeah. uh, "What is this?" I'm trying to check that. I'm trying to see the math. Usually, the downside of having a whole bunch of attacks in one attack is that each attack usually independently has damage reduction calculated against it. Yeah. Cool. That's usually oh, this that's the D and D rules at least. Let's see. All right, it's upgraded. You can Weapon. check it out more. Hey, Bobby. Range 27, so it's also the longest range one, too. Let's see, 24 times 20 is 240, 480 damage. So the Great Communicator does a similar amount of damage, but in one hit, although it trends to higher. It also has, yeah, it has better range. It'll also be a big, satisfying, big hit. Because I feel like the projected damage kept falling flat on the Payasa turret, and it kept not doing as much as it was saying it was going to do. And it's yeah. probably from damage reduction from it having to do so many individual shots. 
Let's go to the radio guy. See, he has someone for us to talk to. Hey, November. Got a delivery for you. Nope, and Sergey's got a delivery for us. Whoa, wait, is that better than what we currently you have? Mongers. I ought to wring your necks. Some of your squad said you were saying I fathered Valor and Liberty Buchanan. Well, it's a damn lie. No, no, never mind. I'm and sorry. you shouldn't go around not. spreading it. You spread a you spread a rumor that Sergey cucked. Uh, what's his name? What? I didn't do shit. <laughs> you spread a rumor that Sergey is the actual father of, of Valor and Liberty. Look, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say that. <laughs> Only people who want to cause trouble between me and the patriarch say things like that. You're, whatever and you told you fucking Bobby Do over here want. that I fucking Do vomited inside of the car, so get your shit out of here. You said I shit on my guns. Okay. Do you not? I do not. <laughs> Well, now some of these folks may Why be, you got uh, shit ain't less than top any time, Rangers. Always had I'll be here. Where is he? Oh, that's the radio guy. November, good to see you. The general wants to talk to all of you at the same time. So please gather everyone up for this meeting. Ah, uh, you have to be here. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh has to be a one. full squad meeting. One second, Mue importante, bro. Wow, they got all these screens up and running. Look at that. Yeah, I definitely want to reduce the skills on some of my characters. And they're like drugs we can take. <laughs> Welcome back, November. Yeah, right? Doesn't Fallen Ready have to this? talk to the general? Uh, give me one second to make sure the general's still there. General, are you there? I have Team November for you. Thank you, Gonzalez. Put him on. Yes, sir. Um, he's ready for you, Rangers. Have a seat. There's no chairs here, sir. Ah, Team November. Glad we finally got through. Corporal Gonzalez said I should hear the details from you, so tell me, how's the mission going? Somebody knew we were coming. We got dry gulch as soon as we got here. Not many of us left. An ambush? How many of you survived? Like, uh, like three? <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, three. Yeah, what happened to her? Oh, whatever. She's, oh, she's, she's right there. She, yeah, she's just around. You, you, we had the chance to recruit her a long time ago. The problem is that everybody in our party was already like level 13 and all the recruits like Scotchmo and her were level 8. Yeah. And I don't know if maybe maybe you recruit them and they instantly level up. Like you, maybe you, maybe they start as level 8 and you spend all the skill points for them to become level whatever, but I don't know. Enough to take revenge, General. Someone's gonna pay for this. What about my brother? Is Riley alive? We can't say at this time, sir. He was not found after the ambush. I... I see. That is distressing. Let me know the minute you learn something. Yeah, because he's basically either dead or captive? Otherwise, he would have probably found out about Ranger HQ by now and come here. Now, yeah. what about the mission? Gonzalez told me the Patriarchs confirmed the deal, and has provided you with a HQ and supplies. I'm pleased to hear it. What are your thoughts on him? Does he seem like a reliable ally? I would not like to invite him to Thanksgiving if we could avoid it. He's a complete tyrant and we're having second thoughts about helping him or associating the rangers with him. If there's any, if there's another way to save Arizona, we should try it. I'm sorry to hear this. Not surprised, but sorry. Unfortunately, there really is no other option. No matter how distasteful you find it, must hold up your side of the deal and complete his mission. Arizona won't survive without his help. Do what he asks you to do, as honorably as you can, and try to keep the fact that you're saving the lives of your friends and family back home foremost in your mind. Anything else I should know about? We've made contact with Angie. 
Angela Death. I don't know why we're calling her Angie. So, she's alive. What happened to her? Is she helping you? It seems she abandoned her mission and is intent on taking the Patriarch down. Damn it. I was afraid of that. That was her position before we lost contact with her. Well, don't let her sway you. I've got no doubt her reasons are good. No one amasses as much power as this Patriarch has by being an angel, but... But Angie's always had a very black and white view of the world. No room for compromise. We have to compromise. The Patriarch may be the dirtiest dog east of the Rockies, but he's also the biggest dog, and he's got the most scraps to share. We can reconsider our relationship with him down the line, but for right now, we've got to do what he wants, or there isn't going to be a down the line for Arizona or the Rangers. I'm not asking you to fight Angie. I love her too much for that. Just keep your distance and don't let her wreck the deal. We're not currently in the best terms of the Patriarch. We were, um, forced to kill one of his children. Ah, that's unfortunate. We can't afford to lose his support. I understand arrests can be unpredictable, but please, don't make this mistake twice. Oh, God forbid, three times. <laughs> we have to keep you canon happy. I, uh... No. <laughs> We've already dealt with one of the Patriarch's children. Excellent. Glad to hear it. Keep up the good work. Weird that that dialogue's still there as an option. <laughs> yeah. That's all we have to report. Alright then. Report received. Thanks for letting me know the situation on the ground. I've got no additional orders except to wrap things up ASAP. Our position here in Arizona is tenuous at best. Without the manpower we sent with you, we're stretched thin. And the gangs and militias are getting bolder by the day. Nor is the food and water situation improving. If we can get through next winter, next year's crops might be enough to keep us going. But I don't see how we're getting there without the Patriarch's promised supplies. So, no pressure. But at the same time, I, uh, Hang on. I... Damn it. Sorry, November. Gotta get back to it. I'll try to reach out again in a few... Uh, looks like we lost the signal, November. I'll let you know if I get it back. I... I mean, he was clearly leaving. <laughs> Wasn't exactly ambiguous. Look, let him... He, he needs to do a job. Just let him do a job. <laughs> Not gonna take his only source of employment away. Hey, well, that was the most of that. We, want, we just wanted to talk to him. So he didn't I actually give us a quest. I thought he was gonna give us something. How you doing, shopping? Yeah, wait, does it matter who I talk to him with? Probably not. I don't know, I just always move around as, as a squad regardless. No, okay. Oh, well, I have- one of my pe persons has, like, high barter, and I didn't know if that changed anything. Um... It does not. I want... to buy more of that, please. Uh, sure. Can you show me how much ammo we have? Perfect. If we go by ascending quest level, the next one is War of the Worlds level 15, which is the Martians. The Martian man? Okay. I guess we'll look into that next. Because that's still two levels lower than the Psychopath, which is the, which is Vic Buchanan. Noise. Oh, wow. We're already at the next kid? Well, we've have uh, we've had access to all three of those quests for a while now, and they've just been sitting in our primary missions category, and they've been gotcha. the only things there. <laughs> oh, uh, I think the first one was level like twelve, so we were we we're pretty late to getting there by the game standards, technically. Although, I mean, we didn't do that much; it didn't feel like. Uh, but then the psychopath is level seventeen, and the trader is worth is level nineteen. So we're already in the level range to do both of the other kids if we want to. Uh, I just, you know, stuff comes up and then we do that. <laughs> Finish up your shopping and we'll get the fuck out of here. I'm just trying to make sure we got the... Wow, that's a really nice revolver. Holy shit. <laughs> 
118 to 143 damage. Ooh. Marshall's Law. <laughs> Jokes. Yeah. Hey, there's a stethoscope that you can equip. What? There's a what? We have a stethoscope in our inventory that gives you plus one to first aid. Oh, yeah, I already have that on my guy. Oh, it's like a second one? Yeah, we have a second one. What is that? Photon Churner? A weird gun. Okay. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, this dude has some modding stuff. Weapon mod handle. Oh, yeah, now that I have level 10 Animal Whisperer, I can stop using this... Uh... Oh, I'm wearing Bronco's heart pendant on this character now. It's like I can stop wearing this an this animal whisper brush. There you go. Oh, we actually do have a lot of stuff already. Um. Fucking ten percent crit chance. That. Bronco and Kickboy start off with pretty good shit. <laughs> yeah, they do. All the armor mod stuff. This guy has robots. How much? What are our robots looking like? We're running low on robots. Yeah. Uh, and put Kickboy's heart pendant back on for that strike rate. I've had an uh, increased experience yeah. pendant on this whole time, but I'm like, I don't think that's necessary. I feel like I'm about to hit the, lo the level cap. Yeah, I'm getting close to hitting the level cap for uh, yeah. first aid too. I'm just, I'm just. I'm just guessing, but I feel like our... the game might stop leveling at 20 because none of the content seems to be past level 20. Oh god, yeah, my two characters are level 17, but Kickboy's level 19. Oh, I've been, level two. Okay. I've been wearing that pendant for all game, I think. Hey, Time man, to retire it. Oh, Let's get out of here. Go! Aliens! I'm ready for whatever that means. It's gonna be either aliens, just real aliens, or <laughs> people cosplaying as aliens, or the as like a fetish or something, or mushroom spores that make you hallucinate the aliens. Are everywhere. They hate and fear us because we are free. Trust in the Gipper, and may the God President bless America. Where the fuck is this guy? Yeah, who are, where who are is that broadcasting is from? Where? Show your face, you fucking yeah, coward. The one remaining Gipper. <laughs> I got a spaz that's just excited to meet you. I'm gonna give you a fucking red scare. Show up. Where are you? <laughs> I'll give you a red scare. Oh. Uh. In other Come news, on, uh, my waveform on top of the screen works again. <laughs> Mine doesn't. Yeah, for a while there it was just full all the time. It's like, good mine's, job. <laughs> mine's just a black screen. <laughs> you find an old drainage tunnel under a freeway. There are needles and bottles scattered around, and it smells like piss. Uh, There's the area. Animals have been here recently. They could still be around. Oh. Either works. for food, but why? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Take turns watching know. in case they come back. Are they, like, cool? And animals didn't come back. Everybody got a decent night's rest. You feel great when you wake up. Okay. Why don't we just sleep in the cook counter? Is that, like, a mechanic they meant to incorporate, but then didn't? <laughs> the idea of, it, of rest mattering? It's like, there are games where you walk around and there's, like, survival resources you have to manage. It's like Banner Saga. Yeah, it felt like uh, we suddenly like, were playing like the Oregon Trail, yeah. but there's no mechanics for the Oregon. What the fuck is that? What? Uh, do you not see the giant fucking scorpion ahead? No, I guess I'll quick Go. save. Yeah, quick save. It's to our right, so just be like aware of that. It's huge. Uh, is you're seeing it on the screen? Oh, Keep shit. going. Look how <gasps> oh, big let's go this get it. Fucking let's go get is, it. Let's dude. go get it. Hey, buddy. Um, Scorpitron. You see a massive Scorp lethal Scorpitron in the distance. You spot a few caches of goods in its path, untouched by scavengers, but soon to be turned into dust. Stealthy shit, take a risk and scavenge the cache. You drag a crate out of harm's way to check later. Okay. Oh, you could do even more with more sneaky shit, but I don't have it. Take it on! 
Hopefully you won't you live to regret this. <laughs> yeah, these are like the fucking death claws of of Wasteland. Like the big Seems fuck you, don't hit don't attack this thing, enemy. Are, are we gonna be okay? I mean I quick saved. No, I I mean I so, know that I'm not worried about the like or are we gonna is the game gonna get ruined? I'm worried about like can we um, beat this? I don't know. Wasteland 2 kept hyping up Scorpatrons, and then I think I beat it when I finally encountered one. Okay. Just a, I'll trust. It's probably just a high level enemy. Can my car shoot it from here? How much, that wall in the I don't way? know how much life it is. Did you get the game saved out of the way, please? Holy shit! 18 to 25 times 16 damage is what this scorpion does. It has <laughs> 2,671 health. These robots are shit though, they're like 700. <laughs> These robots are shit and should feel bad for how shit they are. I can hit the Scorpatron from here. Good luck. 42% chance to go berserk and attack its allies. Uh, yes. Uh oh. Did it, did it work? <laughs> no. I'm watching. I have the info screen pulled up so I know if it gets a status effect. Oh, we get the car in this fight, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's uh, some pretty good news for us. Yeah. Maybe oh, I should God. see if I can send Kickboy in there. Carver Scorpion. Who made this thing? Who made you? Is it just roaming around? What are you? Yes. I love its design, though. God, what a great looking... Kind of hoping for more than that. Ah, it's so much cooler in person too. Look at those guns. <laughs> it I looks like a mix between a Tachkoma and a. I think Andrew's a fan. I am a fan. This is a great design. Do you hear I'm sorry, that? Did that fucking disco bot just start discoing when you shot it? Oh, was that the disco bot? Well, this is a Octatron, but they're basically dangerous models of the Disco Bot. I thought it was the Scorpatron making noises. Uh, I can't hit him from here. I can hit you. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I just shot him with America. <laughs> <laughs> I love this gun. Holy shit. What a great gun. This is some like fucking Team America style. Like the national anthem playing at the fucking gun shoots. I hate it because it's true. Let's see. Sure. Prep. Give some space to our national treasure. To drive through. Uh. How far can you go, though? That's the real question. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I just need uh, to slowly approach until I can just shoot the Scorpatron directly with America beams. <laughs> yeah, I was nervous about crowding everyone into one thing like that in case things explode. No, don't worry about it. So I, I split my guys up. Shocking. Shocking. Right. Shocking. Mm. Shocking. <laughs> oh, have you seen that yet? No. <laughs> what is that? What is Endora Hedoro, there's a giant human sized cockroach that can speak, but only says shocking. Oh no. <laughs> Over and over again. I don't like, like what that. The like, what the fuck is happening? I don't like that at all. What a beautiful show. Oh, ow. Oh, the robot. Stop. The, ro the robots. Are oh my uh, god. Oh my god. Uh, well, that uh, one does have times three damage, so that makes sense. The, uh, we have two allies at least. I'll go pick him up. Don't worry about picking him up. That way I get a bonus for it. That wasn't very good. It's fine. Right, so... Oh. 
I also forgot to mark it. Mark the Scorpatron. Can I? He's too far away. Oh. Well. Don't forget to America. How could I ever? Hello, yes, I'm here to America. Dog continues. It keeps playing the next part of the song. <laughs> oh my god. Gun. It's great. Oh, I, I just, just moved out of the way. You, it just pushed you out of cover. Okay. I like that it pushed me out of the way. That was nice. Uh, I thought I'd be driving around you. Well, at least it didn't man. kill me. <laughs> Gee, yes. No, it gives you like a flashing health bar to indicate you're going to hurt people. So I knew that at least. But <laughs> this just adds new questions because remember that time that that pushing mechanic worked on a turret? <laughs> yeah. Because that was fucking weird. The fact that it plays the national anthem like one stanza at a time or whatever the fuck is the funniest idea. <laughs> I appreciate that I can't do defense because I'm out of range. Imagine the amount of coding that went into making that work that way. But then they oh. couldn't make the, the zone to text stop being on the look, screen the entire look, time. <laughs> look, look, as far as I'm aware and they can prove me wrong if I am wrong. But I think they put way too much fucking time into this Reagan thing. So <laughs> it's just everything about Reagan, including all the fucking memes that are around his house. Yeah. Of himself. Which like are lore breaking memes. Like like they're like ironic memes about Reagan, but they're in a house that's actually about Reagan. Yeah. No, I, I think uh, I think the people at NXL might just actually like Reagan. I don't, I'm not sure if this is actually. Yeah, I don't. That's what I'm saying. I don't think there's I don't, any. I don't know if, I'm not sure if it actually is like a joke. <laughs> Which is that's what I don't like. Um, because Reagan ain't cool. Oh. Uh, there's a safe up there. I want to go up here because no one else is up there and I'm going to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> the Octoron's attacking him. He's doing he damage. Is. He's doing damage. Wow, he's actually doing way too much damage to him. No. I just... Bro. Yep. Bro. Oh, God. Jesus. The fuck? All right. Can Why are you, they so strong? Can you, like, America this out of here? Miss. Oh my, oh my god, bro. Thank you. Why? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm in range. <laughs> anyway, the car is basically all I have left. <laughs> my gosh, Everyone else is just it. fucking dying. What? Oh, I full healed him when I picked him up too. Nice. It was like a lucky heal. Yeah. Kick boy, no. He's behind full cover too, I think. Yeah, he is. Just bad luck. Yup. Oh, I can't reach that stupid fucking robot. All right. Good job. Oh. Wow, you did oh. jack all. Great. That's like that's like eight bullets that did twelve damage from one shot total. Yeah, that's not a wasn't a great payout. See, uh, you're so not within range of anything. All right. Um. God, please. <laughs> oh, come on. It spins. Please, please take die it out. To your ally. Fuck, now it's back in. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? He come on. <laughs> Just one. What the. F oh my oh god. No. What the fuck is this? Uh, You should run from that circle. That circle's bad. <laughs> 
Circle, circle, bad, bad. I'm gonna fucking destroy this guy. Please take out this fucking... Thank there you. There we go. Fucking... Can you Jesus. take out these two robots over here too so I can come pick up your other guy's corpse? The two on the left side? Yeah. Thank you. Jeez. God bless America. I just thought I could focus fire the boss and I, that was proven wrong. Well, I mean, uh, if it wasn't for like two, if it wasn't for that one robot one-shotting two people, oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get Quan up. Yeah. Can't Shit. quite reach him. There's no one on the on the far left side. There's an up up area. No one's there. Oh, the uh, Octo dude is on his time team again. I think. Yeah, but he's too far away to do anything. He's a melee yeah. character. So that's fine. Do you think Wolf can hack the Swarm uh, Patrol? Not much closer cover. I'll, I'll just shoot from here. Ooh. Ooh. Lucky, lucky. Oh my god, you get another shot? Just gotta reload real quick. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I, I think that little robot was more deadly than the fucking Scorpatron. I mean, Ice takes the fucking peak number of the day today. God um, damn. There you go. Down, so he can't get res anymore. Yeah, it's fine. He'll come back after the fight's over, which <laughs> is about out, to be. I just took out a half of Scorpatron's health bar in one shot. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't oh know about that, God. man. Like... Ice is scary. That was her Ice. second blue shot, too, because her first shot was blue. Yeah. So it's filling that fast, too. And then... I did give her a, a necklace, necklace that gives her an additional 10% crit chance. Ah, dude. She's just fucking... She's unstoppable. She's scary. She didn't hesitate. Where do you actually look, do you actually look at somebody's stats? Like uh, Press the I. The top right, and then you can look at their. Oh, oh, you mean in their like main area? I, I just want to see like what are her overall stats. I think you have to go to attributes, and there's a click show stats button, and then you can see every stat. Let's see. Ice, 168 to 257 damage, 134 percent hit chance, 40 percent crit chance. 40% crit chance. That's 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 crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, I should have marked them first. I keep forgetting. I appreciate how I put uh, both Bronco and Wolf on. Uh... <laughs> All right. Thank you, America. I put. <laughs> uh... Oh, Kickway is a 42% crit chance. Shit, you got a lot of crit chance. Those sh shotgun uh, crits, though. We got a tactical nuke from that scorpion? Neat. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that's what he was firing at us. Uh, oh. I, I am become death, the destroyer of worlds, is the, the thing. Also, it, uh, he gave us a stinger, which is... Is that a nuke shooter? You know, I don't It's just a rocket launcher but uh it does 90 to 135 damage which is great it's a lot of damage the proton axe bladed weapon level seven melee combat uh, uh <laughs> that might be uh, your new weapon might want to check that how much damage is that uh, <laughs> uh it's a lot of damage i don't like that it has minus 30 percent against humans and animals and mutants can I modify it to not be bad? So it's specifically an anti-mech weapon. Yeah, yeah. It's an you anti -mech could just make weapon. you could just make it your offhand weapon. Oh, uh, you're, you're right. You're right. Because you have you have two right. weapon slots, and I was, I assume that you don't you're not really using guns on that character. You can just pivot between them for basically for free. Does it even cost you AP for switching? I don't I don't know actually. I don't think so. Um, 
Yeah, dude, let's just make this thing stupidly scary. Okay, good. Stupidly scary now. Uh, <clears> wait, <throat> what? Where is it? Oh, there it is. We should yeah, probably use it. Hand. We probably need to use a nitro on Quan, right? No, we can just go back into the car and he'll be fine. Doesn't what does he spawn into the next zone dead? I don't think so. If he does, then we'll use a nitro. All right. Are you ready? Are you done in the zone? Uh, sorry. Now I'm done. Yeah. I was just looting the thing. Saco Mel Colorado. Wait. California. Sacramento, Los Angeles. Wait a second. I still don't understand what the fuck was going on there. Look, I, I we took down a giant scorpion, so good job us, I guess? Sal's warning us about the hardheads. Here's, here's, what, here's, here's what confused me. So earlier in the game, they're like, I love your radio station about Sal. Mm -hmm. I swear I've never heard Sal speak until after that. Like, there's supposed to be famous people on the radio that we're supposed to know about, but I feel like we only hear about them after we meet them in person, and then they start suddenly being on the radio all the time. Like, Sal keeps talking now, but I don't, I don't, I don't remember her as being one of the people that was talking before. She wasn't. Yeah, but Lucia's like, oh, I hear you all the time. Yeah, he's still down. Uh, yeah, Quan is it, died. Is he still dead? All right, then I'll pick him up. Um, where, where is his Kiarps? I can't even see him anywhere. You have to click on his portrait or something when you use the item. Yeah. Well, bang it. Welcome back. Wait, did he level right. up? I, I mean, so you can. Oh, not enough to get the next level of of uh, kiss ass though. Oh, he is healed. So womp, that's all womp. that matters. Uh, my person did level up though. Sure, so. I'm glad okay. to see you, folks. Yes, sir. <laughs> we got us a genuine crisis here. Do we though? The message we said, uh, the message we got said something about Martians. Martians? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, Martian robots, anyhow. Don't know what else they could be. Showed up right out of the blue like they stepped off a flying saucer. I reckon the Martians want my Tellarium, so they sent their war machines to jump my claim. <laughs> this here's my Tellarium mine, you see. Well, mine and Trudy's. Don't know what I'd do without the old girl. <laughs> Works harder than any man I ever saw, and I ain't afeard of nothing. Why, I once saw her bite a grizzly bear right on the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Folks around here call me Bulb, by the way. That's on account of the Tellarium. They should stink like garlic. <laughs> don't much bother me. Trudy don't seem to mind if you know what I mean. <laughs> they fucking. Oh, where was I? Oh, oh, yeah. The Martians. Me and Trudy was working at the mine, and all of a sudden, these robots appeared. <laughs> One of them was as big as a house. You could tell right off they weren't no scavengers. They was something else. So you're telling us that robots from Mars have taken over your mind? Yes, sir. <laughs> but wait till you hear the weird part. What? Now, <clears throat> I bet you're <clears throat> asking yourself how an old prospector like Bulb would know the difference between a Martian death machine and some old scavenger robot. Am I right? Oh. You get scavengers poking around up here all the time. <clears throat> and Trudy can hear them rust buckets coming a mile off. Out old parts or a few pounds of ore, and they leave us be. But not the Martians. Oh, <laughs> no, sir. When they turned up, the scavengers got madder in a pack of wet hornets. They came at the Martians from all directions. 
But me and Trudy caught in the middle. I told the old girl to hightail it out of there, but Trudy was fit to raise hell. And you can't tell her nothing when she's got her dander up. <laughs> I ran down here to call for help, and I've been waiting on you folks ever since. I ain't seen Trudy for a while now, and I'm getting worried. <laughs> Can you do something about these dang robots? Don't okay, worry, nice. Bob. We'll take care of it. I knew you was good folks the minute I laid eyes on you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Mine's just over that hill yonder. Be fine, Trudy, and chase them dang robots off my claim. <laughs> One more thing. Mm. If you find Trudy, and she's well, you know. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you'd bring her necklace back. There's some codes written on it that I need to run the mine. She kept them safe for me. I'll be waiting here when you're done. <clears throat> Good luck up there. <laughs> you take care of them robots yet? <laughs> Trudy and me ain't gonna make it if we can't work that mine. I haven't walked. Why are you asking me this? Uh, we're working on it, bro. Yeah, me and Trudy ain't getting any younger, you know. I genuinely don't know how we started a second conversation yeah. just now. That was weird. Hello. Secret gate. Fox. Faint static. Does that mean that there's a local secret mech? Is there a synth here? Wait. Did, did he say what Trudy was? Did I miss that? No. What do you the mean fucking... say what Trudy was? <laughs> Because we just looked at that doghouse, and the doghouse has the name Trudy on it. He said, bring back Trudy's necklace. Why, which he means dog collar. Hey, there's, a, there's a synth near here. Near here. Didn't, oh. didn't he leave the impression open that, the synth, that Trudy was his wife? Well, I mean, he did say it. she bit, uh, she bit a, doll, uh, a bear in the ass. <laughs> Which is probably a more normal thing for a dog to do. Alright. The scavenger is heavily damaged. It lies in a pool of leaking fluids, its power plant emitting a faint, stuttering whir. Its single undamaged eye studies you as you approach, a faint glimmer of power flickling, uh, flickling, flickering in its depths. Mechanics attempt to repair the robot. Most of the robot's vital components are damaged beyond repair, and its power supply is on the verge of failure. If you move quickly, you could try to repair the robot's voice box, or just strip it for parts instead. Repair the voice box. As you reconnect the voice box, its speaker lets out an agonizing squawk. You smell burning plastic, and then the robot utters a few tortured words. A shudder racks this robot's chassis. The whir of the power plant stutters and falls silent, and the robot's eyes, uh, one eye goes dark. No, oh, Rob. Just junk. We just got robbed. 